and self contribute. Huh? Oh man. <laughs> a little bit of waste away. <laughs> we got a lot here, right? Yeah, we do. <laughs> Some things never change, huh? There's an old adage that reads, shoot for the moon, even if you miss, you'll land among the stars. And to me, the message here is to take the leap and aim high, and even if you don't end up exactly where you had intended to, there are always other favorable outcomes if you give it your all. And something that I firmly believe in is that everything happens as it should. This past May, as some of you know, I moved out to Idaho with my good buddy Luke. We spent the winter designing a cabin that we are super proud of and incredibly excited to share with you all. We were chomping at the bit to get out west, put boots on the ground, and bring this project to life. The first few weeks were full of energy as we settled into this new life that we had so long anticipated, but by the end of the month we started getting signs that our timeline was unlikely to pan out due to some delays out of our control. Our build site sits in the beautiful Teton Valley of Idaho, at the foot of the Grand Tetons, in an unsurprisingly up-and-coming county. We planned for delays, as everyone should in the home building process, but not quite to the extent of those we encountered pushing our start date off until next spring. It was a bit of a blow at first, having just uprooted our lives in New England to move out here. But as the dust settled, we realized it was a bit of a blessing in disguise. Upon taking a step back, we started to see that there were some major aspects to this project that, with a bit more time and energy on the back end, could really blossom. With the rush mitigated, we were able to plant the seed for partnering with some really incredible brands that will truly bring the design as a whole to another level, in many ways. So yeah, you could say that we missed the moon, but I'm certainly not discontent amongst the stars that we find ourselves in. We witnessed the northern lights dancing over the Grand Tetons, learned to fly fish in Montana, floated legendary rivers, mountain biked in towering forests, started our Fridays with a farmer's market and ended them with a rodeo. And so, so much more. We had the privilege of working alongside some absolute dream brands and had an absolute blast doing it. While it is certainly a bittersweet feeling, there is no arguing that our time out west was well spent. The project has undoubtedly progressed, albeit at a pace of its own choosing, and us fellas are doing just fine. Don't you worry. Otherwise I would have done it. We both have a lot of irons in the fire back here in New England. Luke intends to pick up where he left off, hopping back aboard his wooden sailboat and continuing his explorations until the project resumes, while I am beyond excited to spend more time on my land in Vermont. I can't deny it, living in my first ever apartment was pretty dang nice. It was the first time I had stayed in one place and had been able to develop routines like waking up early and going to the climbing gym, striking a much needed work-life balance, and just all around living a much more structured, healthy lifestyle than yeah. I ever have. But 
now with those new habits in place, I'm certain I'll be able to find them again here in New England. And the cabin is still coming, and it's going to be epic. So stay tuned, and we'll be back at it next year, ready to rip. But until then, there are many, many more stories to come of explorations around New England and settling back into the slow country lifestyle that I honestly kind of miss. So yeah, I'll uh, talk to you guys soon. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> what are we out here for again? We're designing, building a cabin, <laughs> and photographing the process. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's about it. <laughs> Our boyfriends are coming out for moral support. <laughs> <laughs> Make a lot. <laughs> Go on walks. Go on walks. <laughs> They're going to ask to use our cars every day. <laughs> and take us into the mountains. Hi, kids. Hi, kids. Have fun at school. Give us a toot. Give us a toot. Thank you.